welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see how to design high strength concrete here you can see design of m70 and its steps along with i have the code the latest code okay so m70 comes generally under the high strength concrete category so its design procedure is slightly different than general m20 m25 grade concrete that process we have already covered you can see the video in the i box here we are going to use the latest code 10262 so if you see here we are going to uh, see the example of m70 grade concrete okay for high strength grade concrete we need admixtures okay so these admixtures are here you can see silica fumes and flash okay this admixtures role is to improve the or we can reduce the water content okay silica fume and flash so let's start with the some design uh, so grade of uh, is m70 type of cement is ordinary portland cement of 53 grade we have silica fumes another admixture okay we have maximum nominal size of aggregate equal to 20 mm we have exposure conditions as per table 3 of is as per table 3 and table 5 of is 4 5 6 year severe means extreme conditions we are taking if your condition is different slightly data will be changed okay here we are going with the severe exposure condition for reinforced concrete we have 120 mm slump that is workability related with the workability method of concrete placing here it is pumping degree of supervision we are assuming a good degree of supervision means quality of concrete maintained on the site will be good similarly the type of aggregates and maximum cement content is 450 kg per m cube right the chemical admixture is here super plasticizer we know the super plasticizer role is to reduce the water content so some test data we will require okay so in that uh, generally we need specific gravities here specific gravity of cement is 3.15 and the cement is opc 53 grade next is specific gravity of coarse aggregate fine aggregate flash silica fumes and chemical admixture respectively 2.74 2.65 2.20 2.20 and 1.08 and some other data like water absorption you also find out this from the test that we have the coarse aggregate will have 0.5 percent and fine aggregates will have one percent you can find this some other data is also there okay right now we will start with our design procedure here you can see the first step target strength for the mix proportion target strength means what whenever we are going to design a concrete we will go for slightly higher strength here in this case we are going to design m70 grade concrete but we will make the design of slightly higher value so m70 more than m70 because this will be considered as a factor of safety so how much more so for that there are two formulas you can see here fck dash is equal to fck plus 1.65 s this is the first formula using that we will find target average compressive strength and whatever our design value is called as characteristic compressive strength and next formula is fck plus x okay that fck means our design value m70 here s is standard deviation okay so to find out the standard deviation value we have to go in the table 2 which is i think on page number 5 so this is the table number 2 where in one column they have given the grade of concrete on other column there is a value of standard deviation. 
so our m70 grade concrete in front of that value is 6 so we have to use the value 6 let's go back to the, our, our design okay now formula we have fck means 70 plus 1.65 into s that's we that we have calculated just now 6 so 79.9 newton per mm square is the target average strength that we want to achieve in 28 days okay second formula is fck dash is equal to fck plus x where x is the new term for us and that x means factor based on grade of concrete so let's see what is the value of x again we have to go to the page number 5 table number 1 value of x again grade of concrete in one column and in another column value of x so for m65 and above the value of x is 8 so we have to select the value as a 8 let's go back to the design page so we'll put the value in our formulas fck dash is equal to 70 fck plus 8 is equal to 78 so we have the maximum value 79.9 which is the maximum out of 78 and 79 so we have to choose the higher value here i am highlighting it out of these two value you have to select the higher one and the higher value is 79.9 newton per mm square so this is the first step second step this is the step we have covered and the second step is appropriate air content okay for that we have to go on table number six okay and that table number six is available on page six okay we'll go to the page number six and yes here you can see approximate air content so there are two columns first one is the nominal maximum size of aggregate and second one is the percentage so 20 mm in front of that value is 0.5 so let's go back so we have assumed 0.5 percent okay this value is in the percent so next step is selection of water to cementitious material ratio okay here i am not saying cement ratio water to cementitious material ratio okay for that we have to go to the table number 8 and page number 11 so here recommended values given by the code so target compressive strength is here okay means that the value that we have found from the formula which which is the higher one okay not the characteristic we want target compressive strength so that was 79.9 okay so here we will select as a 80 close to 80 it's 79.9 so in the other half we are using 20 mm size of aggregate so we have to choose the value 0.29 so this is the way you can select it so 0.29 will be your water to cement ratio cementitious material ratio i will correct here myself so let's get back to our design page so this is 0.29 this is how the value comes and it is less than 0.45 hence ok so next step is selection of water content water to cementitious material ratio we have now we want to find the content of the water water content that you can get it from table number six seven which is on the page number 10 i think so here we come okay water content with respect to nominal maximum size of the aggregate so nominal maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm hence we have to choose the value of maximum water content as a 186 kg per m cube so here we are highlighting it 186 okay so let's get back to our design 
सो द वैल्यू इज वन एटी सिक्स के जी पर एम क्यूब एंड दिस वैल्यू इज फॉर फिफ्टी एम एम स्लम्प यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस वैल्यू इज फॉर फिफ्टी एम एम स्लम्प विदाउट यूजिंग द सुपर प्लास्टिसाइजर दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट ओके बट आवर स्लम्प इज वन ट्वेंटी एम एम सो वी हैव टू मेक सम चेंज हियर वी हैव टू इंक्रीज द वॉटर कंटेंट बट हाउ मच how much water content we should increase that is the question but for that there is one for situation given by the code for every 25 mm increase in the slump increase the water content by 3% very simple for every 25 mm increase so 120 mm was the required slump but 186 they have given for 50 mm so remaining is 70 mm so let's divide 70 mm slum by 25 mm so that means we have to increase our slum by 2.8 times for every 25 mm it is 3% hence 2.8 into 3 so we have to increase our water content by 8.4% so you can again go through it if you feel difficult read it again you will get the answer so that's how the value 8.4 come so we have multiplying 186 into 8.4 divided by 100 sorry plus 8.4 divided by 100 into 186 so our water content comes out to be 202 kg per m cube right but as i told you we are using super plasticizers and its role is to uh, decrease the water content we can decrease the water content so 30% we can reduce it so we have to multiply 202 into 0.70 100 minus 30 that is 0.7 so that's why 30% we can reduce if we are using the super plasticizer so we can reduce the water content as we are reducing the water content the strength of the concrete will increase right so the value comes out to be 141 kg per m cube so let's move on now we have water to cement ratio 0.29 we have water to water content 141 so we can easily calculate the cement content so cement content will be equal to 141 divided by 0.29 because water divided by cement ratio cement ratio is there so we will get the cement 486 this is the only pure cement okay but it is proposed to add 15% fly ash in the mix in situation increase in cementitious material content may be warranted the decision on increase in cementitious material content and increasing the and its percentage may be based on the experience and trial so slightly experience and trial part is here because we are designing it so in this problem we are increasing by 10% the cementitious material content okay that's why okay, let's highlight it 10% okay this is an assumption you can plus minus do it so cementitious material content will be 486 into 1.10 we are increased by 10% hence 1.10 so our value comes out to be 535 kg per m cube okay out of that 15% content will be of flash flash will be 15% by the weight of the cementitious material this is again an assumption okay so out of 535 15% will be cementitious material so here we have calculated 535 multiply by 15% will get 80.25 kg per m cube okay silica film content will be 5% by the weight of revised cementitious material so this is important 5% so 535 multiply by 5% then again it will comes out to be 26.75 okay these are all cementitious material cementitious materials means cement flash silica film combination called as cementitious material we want the cement content so cementitious material minus flash content minus silica film content will give us cement content 
ओके सो फाइव थर्टी फाइव इज सीमेंटिशियस मटेरियल ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव इज आई थिंक सिलिका फ्यूम फिफ्टी पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव इज आवर फ्लैश सो वी विल गेट फोर ट्वेंटी एट के जी पर एम क्यूब इज द सीमेंट कंटेंट सो अवर रिवाइज वॉटर टू सीमेंट रेशो विल बी वन फोर्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव थर्टी फाइव दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्सटी फोर ओके ना वी हैव टू डू सम चेक्स हियर फॉर मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम सीमेंट कंटेंट ओके लेट्स रीड द क्लॉज चेक फॉर मिनिमम सीमेंटिशियस मटेरियल कंटेंट मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट इज थ्री ट्वेंटी इट इज गिवन इन आई एस फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके वी आर यूजिंग सीमेंटिशियस मटेरियल कंटेंट फाइव थर्टी फाइव आउट ऑफ विच फोर ट्वेंटी एट इज ओ पी सी ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव इज सिलिका फ्यूम एंड एटी पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द फ्लैश here you can see i am highlighting the was value okay that means our minimum cementitious content will be okay check is okay and maximum they have given that opc should not be more than 450 kg per m cube here maximum opc content is 428 okay that again we are okay green signal for our check we can move on and go ahead okay so next step is to find out the volume of coarse aggregate so it depends upon the water to cement ratio so for that we have to go on the table number 10 just see our water to cement ratio value is 0.264 okay now let's move on to the table number 10 and we have to carefully see the value of water content on the given on the table number 10 okay just uh, let's go on table number 10 i think which is on page number maybe 12 or something here we uh, this is i think table i think we have to go up we have to scroll up oh, yes 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 here table 10 read carefully volume of coarse aggregate per unit volume of the total aggregate for different zones of fine aggregate for water to cement or water to cementitious material ratio of 0.30 here very important is the value 0.30 and as i said remember the value of our water to cement ratio which is i think 0.264 so we need to change the values okay these values are for water to cement ratio 0.30 0.30 okay here nominal maximum size of aggregate is given 20 and i think you remember we are given the zone 2 in the given data okay that you can check in the given data zone 2 so we have to select this value but this value is corresponding to water to cement ratio 0.30 but we want this value for 0.264 so slightly one correction factor correction factor is required and that correction factor is i have written here water to cement ratio is 0.264 okay therefore volume of coarse aggregate is required to increase to decrease the fine aggregate content as the water to cement ratio is lower by 0.036 so difference between them is 0.036 okay as the water content is uh, decreasing we have to increase the volume of coarse aggregate okay how much so for that there is a criteria given so water to cement ratio 0.3 minus 0.264 will be equal to 0.036 okay and our criteria is given for increase every increase in 0.05 you have to increase the volume by 0.01 okay that's why we have increased it the criteria is given in the last at the rate of 0.01 for every 0.05 change in the water to cement ratio so this is the criteria simple criteria is there so 
सो वी हैव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थर्टी सिक्स सो वी हैव टू इंक्रीज द वॉटर कंटेंट सॉरी वॉल्यूम ऑफ द कोर्स एग्रीगेट हियर आई हैव रिटर्न For change zero point zero five change increase volume have to be increased by zero point zero one. So by that calculation we will get the value of zero point six six seven. Okay, that will be the value of coarse aggregate. So volume of fine aggregate will be one minus zero point six six seven. So that will become zero point thirty three. So let's go for mix calculation. Total volume A. Now this A B C D is important. A is the total volume which is one m cube. B is the volume of entrapped air, which is zero point zero zero five. C is the volume of cement, which is depends upon mass of the cement divided by specific gravity, which is given into one by thousand. D, okay. Next is D, volume of water. So this is the value. Volume of water will be equal to mass of water divided by specific gravity into one by thousand. You have mass, you have specific gravity. Volume of silica fumes. Again, you have mass. You have specific gravity given into one by thousand. Just put the values. You will get the answer. This is E. F is volume of flash mass divided by specific gravity into one by thousand. Again, next is volume of chemical admixtures, which should be used a point five percent of the mass of the cementitious material. Cementitious material weight is five thirty five into zero point five percent divided by specific gravity into one by thousand. Okay, so all the things we have to minus it from the A. Okay, A is total volume minus we have to do all these entrapped air, cement, water, silica fumes, flash, chemical admixtures. So we will get the volume of coarse aggregate, or we can say volume of aggregate. So A minus B minus C minus D minus E minus F minus G. So you will get. Volume of all in aggregate, so volume will be zero point six six seven m cube. Now you have to calculate the mass. For that we have a formula. Multiply this value of volume, okay, with the volume of fine aggregate specific gravity into thousand. Similarly, do it for the mass of the fine aggregate. You will get the weight of the fine aggregate also. So you will get mass of the coarse aggregate also, fine aggregate also. So mixed proportion will be cement four twenty eight, flash eighty point twenty five, silica fumes twenty six point seventy five, water one forty one, fine aggregate five eighty nine, coarse aggregate one two one nine, chemical admixture two sixty seven, two point sixty seven, water to cement ratio point two six four. So this is our proportion. so this is our trial number 1 so you can do some other changes also depending upon the what strength you are getting okay from that you will be able to have the mixed design this is the way you can go for m70 high strength grade of the concrete design so thank you thank you so much please like share subscribe the channel